Hello and welcome to the Winging It Travel Podcast YouTube channel. Join me on my journey as I travel across the world, seeking out adventures, meeting new people and trying out new things. Hello and welcome to this week's episode. We have left Venice and are heading east to Slovenia and the train journey goes via Trest and then along the coast for some awesome views all the way to Ljubljana which takes about five hours. Arriving into the train station, we took a 10 minute walk to our hostel, which is called Most Hostel. It's along the river. Just a bit of extra information for you to check in to Most Hostel. You're gonna to have to go next door to h to go Hostel. They will check you in and then show you to your room and it's about 40 euros a night for a private room. Bang Central of Ljubljana. It seemed at first a pretty decent hip hostel. I think in hindsight, when we slept there, quite a lot of noise because it's built by wood and if you're a light sleeper probably not the best for you but the room was super comfortable and it was easily walking distance from the main sites of Ljubljana. We arrived quite late into the afternoon so not much sightseeing on this day. We stopped off for a coffee first at a little cafe called Slazika Pri Vojnidas, a nice little cafe right in the centre of Ljubljana. Then we walked around the old town and streets until dinner. We went to Park Zvezda just before dinner, nice park in the central of Ljubljana, lots of seats, people milling about, nice family atmosphere and the vibe so far was chilled, positive and the weather was sensational, it was very sunny. First off, next morning, I had an interview arranged with Dr. Noah Charney. He's an American guy living in Ljubljana. He speaks fluent Slovenian and he hosts the Feel Slovenia podcast. He's also a professor at the university there. And we had a great chat. Here's a little snippet for you. You can do the whole walk around the lake. It's lovely. It's yeah. not too long. I think it's seven kilometers yeah, or something. Like, yeah. Um, there's a spectacular castle with yes. a good museum in it. If you're interested in doing something a little bit sporty, there's like um, outdoor activities like zipline trail in, yeah. the, in the trees. And then you have to eat kremschnita, okay. which is the German word means cream slice, and it's the iconic cake of Lake Blade. Okay. So that's a, those are like the de rigueur things that one must do when visiting. One of the main attractions in Ljubljana is the castle. So we took the funicular up to the castle, yet yeah, again, another of a funicular on a European tour and we went to the castle to look at the views of Ljubljana from a height and also check out the grounds within the castle. We had to go to get, as a recommendation from Noah, I bled cream cake from the cafe in the castle. Check this out. Then we finished off walking around the grounds of the castle, getting great views of the city centre, and then got back down via a funicular. And for the rest of the evening, we checked out the main sites within the city, such as Dragon Bridge, St. Nicholas's Cathedral, Central Market, and it really is a pleasant city to walk around would highly recommend staying there. The next day was a gorgeous day in Slovenia and we're out to see Lake Bled. And what you need to do here is nip to the train station. There is a bus station there too and go and buy your bus ticket return for Lake Bled. The fee is two euros, 10 cents each way at terminal stop 28. And we left at 9.30 to get there in good time to check out the lake. The first stop was the Art Cafe for a trendy little coffee with a view of Bled Castle. And then we walked along the lake to get the first views of the whole lake. And then walked up to Bled Castle to get a view from the top. We walk 
back down along the walkway along the lake. The main attraction of the church on the island in the middle of the lake can be seen as you walk around, past the trees and in all its glory with the background of snow-capped mountains and the Bled Castle. What a sight this is. Glorious blue skies and sunshine. What a view with the mountains in the background. Sensational. so much content of Lake Bled from this angle and as you can see there are many photos and videos I'm going to show you but because of the day being so clear so blue with snow-capped mountains in the background it really was something that we didn't expect exceeded all expectations then we walked back around to the main town to go and get a boat to the little island which costs 14 euros and it's quite refreshing as you skim along the lake you will agree a time to get back on the boat after you finish your sightseeing on the island and it's all very easy admin. We walked around the island, quite small, long outside, and had a really nice time getting a different view of the lake. A recommendation by Noah was to check out the local cake called Petitza, which was very nice indeed. And as we got back to the main part of the town, we walked back round to get our bus back to Ljubljana, just about quarter within one minute, and reflected on a great day in Bled and Lake Bled. It is a must in Slovenia and on a very, very cool and crisp blue day, it was the perfect background. That was it for Slovenia, Ljubljana and Lake Bled. Amazing sightseeing, a toothache, which wasn't ideal, and a vibe which I can only describe as friendly, positive, and very chilled from the Slovenian people. It is a must in Europe, and we will definitely be going back. And thanks to Noah for sharing his wisdom and advice on the things to see and do and there's much more to explore in the country itself the next morning we're up super early as we get the train to zagreb in croatia cheers for tuning in i'll see you next time please follow and subscribe on my youtube channel today and please rate and review the podcast on any podcast platform that you use thank you